This is Philip and Jacob, and this is the physics behind hockey. We're going to start off with uh, scientific aspects of hockey. Uh, a hockey player propels himself forward by pushing off the ice with a force perpendicular to the skate blade. The friction between the ice and the skate is almost zero, therefore this is the only way he can propel himself forward. A perpendicular force is exerted on the skate by the ice. This force is what pushes the player forward. The process is mirrored by the other leg. To accelerate faster, the player must exert a larger force. The skate blade must have sharp edges to perform all actions. Skate, turn, and stop. Sharper the blades, the faster you'll be able to skate. The puck, on the other hand, is frozen before a game in order to reduce friction with the ice. Nice. Good point, Jacob. Um, this is a, I'm going to talk about the technological aspect of hockey. Throughout history, hockey, hockey equipment has evolved, allowing for more optimal performance on the ice. Back in the day, 19th century to be exact, sticks were made of wood with, with straight blades. With wood sticks, player had better control of the puck because the stiffness allowed the puck to be absorbed easier than the composite sticks today. In the 40s, laminated sticks became the more popular because of their durability, stiffness, and stability. In the 90s, composite sticks were introduced, and, the, and this changed the game forever because the player now has maximal control and power, and the sticks are extremely light as well. Players can now catch the goalie off guard because of the speed of the shot and the accuracy of the shot as well. Good job, Phil. Very well said. We're going to move on to the economic issues surrounding hockey. The cost of hockey can be very expensive today, all depending on the equipment and the level of hockey that you play. Hockey manufacturers are very flexible and produce equipment in all price ranges, all depending on the player. Sticks range anywhere from $50 to $300. Skates anywhere from $100 to $1,000. Gloves anywhere from $100 to $300. A helmet's anywhere from 100 to 250 and those are all the essentials needed for hockey. The average cost of registration is $700 and can increase depending on the level you play. A typical AA to AAA player registration will cost them anywhere from 3 to 7 grand, also depending on like trips the team takes, where they Hotel travel. Rooms and, yeah. Once a player reaches a junior professional level, the game then becomes free as the organization pays for all the player's needs. Great work, Jacob. Now I want to go on and talk about the social aspects about the greatest sport in Canada, or even the world. Hockey is an extremely social sport, and as Canadians, hockey becomes a part of our identity, culture, and maybe religion. Hockey is considered to be our, one of our national sports. Every Canadian has a connection to hockey, whether it is from wa watching, watching the great one, Wayne Gretzky, watching Henderson score the monumental goal in the Summit Series, or even to, recently, Crosby scoring the golden goal against the U.S. It didn't matter if you were a fan of the game or not. These moments are a part of Canada's history, and we share national Canadian pride in these really extremely special moments of history. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool sport. 
to play as well, Jacob. You know, like we oh, get the yeah. ladies, right? All the ladies. <laughs> Maybe not you, but I do. JK. That's it for the social sport uh, part of hockey. Okay, we're going to move on to the ethical topic of hockey. And uh, constantly today, circling the hockey world, is the question of concussions and how to prevent them or what's causing them. Many people are asking whether or not the game is safe enough. Many rules are starting to be changed or being pushed to be changed. Like recently, Hockey Canada took hitting out of the peewee level. Which, when we played Pee-wee, we were always engaged in hitting. Yeah. We taught how to hit. And many are pushing for fighting to be removed from the higher levels or even the professional levels of hockey, which is also a big controversy. But that when it comes down to it, safety should be the number one concern for the players. Yeah, I agree. Like, how many concussions have you had, Jacob? I had one the past year. Uh, I've had, like, two or three. I can't remember. 